Hello, I'm Dr. Dhananjay Bhatt, neurosurgeon from Astor RV Hospital, Bangalore. Today we will be talking about a condition known as hydrocephalus. This is a condition in which there is excessive accumulation of water in the skull. Normally the brain is bathed and is floating in a water which is known as cerebrospinal fluid. This acts like a cushion. So what happens is sometimes excessive accumulation of this water inside the brain results in increased intracranial pressure and then this is known as hydrocephalus. These patients present with headache, vomiting, visual loss, seizures very rarely, difficulty in walking and then if it is left like that only then person goes into altered sensorium and then can die also. The causes for hydrocephalus are many. Sometimes it may be a blockage in the drainage system of the water. There may be a tumor which is producing excess of CSF or it might be blocking the fluid or it may be secondary to an infection. Very rarely later on, especially in elderly age group, secondary to trauma, whenever there is a head injury, it may occur or many times without any known reason, it can occur. So when this water is there in the brain and is causing the problem, the management of this includes removing this water. So depending on the etiology, the treatment options are there. First an MRI is done for these patients where we know the reason of this. If it is a tumor which is blocking the fluid uh, flow, then we will have to remove the tumor. Suppose it is a block in the drainage system, so the water is not going out. Then we may have to put a tube inside the head known as a shunt. So in this condition what we do is we make a small hole in the skull and pass a tube inside. And then this is connected through another long tube to under the skin into the abdominal cavity. This is known as a ventricular peritoneal shunt. Sometimes from the back itself, we can put a tube from the back and coming into the abdomen. That is known as a thicoperitoneal or a lumboperitoneal shunt. Nowadays, many, very minimally invasive procedures are there and which we do for certain cases, select cases of hydrocephalus. This is known as an endoscopic third ventriculostomy. So in this, again, a small hole is made and then a small endoscope is passed, nothing but a tube which has got a camera attached to it with a light source. We go into the water system and then we make a separate hole in this system so that the water drains out through a different path. So by doing this, we are uh, we are not using a foreign body. The risks of foreign body placement inside the head, infection chances, bleeding chances, all these things are avoided.